What is going on, folk? It's Nimblefall here, and this video, guys, is gonna be really, really great, so be sure to stick around for this one. In the latest podcast episode with Tiny Little Games, we were literally just discussing the lack of great fighting games on mobile. I'll leave a link to that podcast, by the way, in the top right corner of this video. But then, just a few days ago, I found this game here called 8-Bit Fighters, which is exactly what we were looking for. It's a 2D side-scrolling fighting game, just like I think they should be made. That means there's no frustrating energy system, and there's no gacha elements or gacha systems either in this fighting game. It's just a great retro fighting game, but still with a lot of depth to it. And that's what really excites me. So we have 40 different stages or levels in this game. We have nine different characters that we can play as, and each of these characters can be customized with unique combos and unique skills and abilities. And there are lots of them that we can unlock, and I'll go into that system, which is not gacha, or, and it's not based on loot boxes either. So we'll get into that after we've hopefully won this matchup. I've won it once before, so right now I'm just trying to perfect it a little bit. If we get an S score, so the best score possible, we get that if we make sure to not lose too much HP and just win very quickly, I think. Then we will unlock one of the currencies that we need. Oh, this is the boss. Nice. We'll unlock one of the currencies that we need to unlock new abilities. So for now, though, let's see if we can take out this guy here. That's one target, as you guys can see, and the others are just sort of puppets. So if we kill the target, let's use our special here. Nice. If we kill the, uh, the target, then we will have won this match. Let's be sure to get that guy really quickly. And, come on, I think he's, yeah, he's soon down, we're gonna use our special again. No, we don't have, oh, there we go. I thought we didn't have enough energy for that. We do have to uh, use our normal attacks to get some energy to then use our special abilities and special skills. And as you guys can see, we have a couple of different buttons here. The controls work really well overall. We have a defense button, which, by the way, once we get to the more difficult levels, uh, we're definitely gonna need that one. That's what I'm using right now. And then we have a normal attack that we can add a combo to. So right now, you guys can see the combo in the top middle of the screen. So as you guys can see, I tap once, twice, and then three times, if I can do that without getting hit. There we go. Oh, we're so close to dying, though, guys. But uh, we can customize that combo. So that's really cool, and we'll get into that later on, but we got him! Nice, we got him, and as you guys can see, the other guy survived, but we still won this one. There is Bluetooth controller support coming, by the way, and there's also a PvP mode coming later on. We didn't get the S rank here, we got the A rank, which is still okay. But that's coming later, by the way, the Bluetooth controller support and PvP, where you can actually fight against players on other smartphones. So uh, actually some sort of multiplayer. I don't know if it's gonna be local, but some sort of multiplayer. Look at this, guys. This is where we can go in and customize our combo attack. We start out with a sort of normal punch here. We could also start out with a low punch instead. Of course, we then just have to remove it from over here. So we can go like this and like this instead, if we wanted to, for example. But there are way more different types of punches that we can unlock. So if we go over here to our abilities, you guys can see that, for example, this one here, a long range strong punch. We can unlock this one if we want to, and that's gonna cost one of this diamond currency here, which is the only currency in the game, by the way. And we get this currency from just winning battles for completing with the best score, S score, and also for completing achievements and from watching incentivized video ads if we want to. There are supposed to be inner purchases in this game, but I have not been able to find them just yet. So I think they're disabled for now, even though on Google Play it tells me that there are or should be inner purchases. Then we have the special moves here. We have three different special moves. Special move one, special move two, and then the super move. And as you guys can see, we only have two different special moves right now, and we only have one super move. But these are the ones that we can also go in and unlock over here. So let's just try doing that right now. I really wanted to get this one. Look at this one. Let's unlock that one. It's only gonna cost one of this currency here, and we have 13 of them. So now with that one, let's go in here and let's replace... Which one? Let's replace... Maybe let's just... Maybe let's replace the first one there with this one instead. And now that's, that's the customization part. Now we can go into battle and test out this new setup here. We can also play with some of the different characters though, and as I told you guys, they have unique abilities, each and every one of them, and they are very, very different from each other, which I really loved. For example, this one who has the... Is it a cat and a dog that we can spawn? Really unique character, right? We have a more traditional character over here using chains and chain attacks. You guys can see some of the different attack animations here. Really, really cool character as well, by the way. But I found that the ranged attack of this Joyce character instead were actually really beneficial, especially, especially for the boss fights, because there are, of course there are boss fights as well. Let's go into a boss fight right now, actually. I think I have one waiting over here, yes, that I have not been able to clear just yet. So 
I guess we're setting ourselves up for, for trouble here, but let's go into that one. Because that's about it for the main or core gameplay of the game. Then with PvP added later on, I think that would be really, really great. This is a small indie game though, and I have a feeling that this has maybe been made by just one guy. So the, uh, the updates from the developer aren't that frequent, so the last update was in May, so that's, I mean, not that long ago. But then the one before that was from November 2017. So it can take a bit to get these updates, but at least we know that the developer is working on multiplayer and I'm really looking forward to multiplayer being added to this game I think that could definitely make it my favorite fighting game It already is my favorite fighting game and not that many fighting games actually have PvP anyway So yeah, I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think about this game? I think it's really great I think it's so awesome to see a game that's not filled with way too many inner purchases and a horrible monetization system because it's just so easy to do bad monetization with fighting games Oh wait, I remember this one we actually have to defeat both this guy and then a guy after that. This is where we really need to use our defense here because the defense button is kinda overpowered because we will not take any damage at all as long as we just hold down this button here. So I could just keep holding down this button for as long as I wanted really. Uh, so it's really just about figuring out when they're not attacking so we can get a hit in. Yes, exactly like that. But we did still take damage though. If we do die, we can choose to spend one of the currency that, uh, well, the only currency, I, already, I always want to call it premium currency, but it's really the only currency in the game. So I guess you can hardly call it premium since, uh, as I said before, there are no inner purchases either. We look like we're really gonna die now though, which is just unfortunate. I don't think we'll be able to take out this guy. Oh no, he got us! He got us, but guys, as you guys can see, we can spend one of this currency here. There's a bit of a glitch with the text there. I think that might be because I'm on the 18.5 to 9 aspect ratio here on the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. It will probably look more uh, normal on most smartphones, but here it doesn't look like the text aligns correctly. So if the developer sees this video, maybe that's something that can be fixed. We got this guy though, and we have full HP, and now we're gonna get to the boss. You thought that was the boss? It was not the boss. As I told you guys before, this is the boss guy, and he is pretty difficult. That act that's actually one of the characters that we could play as, the guy with the, uh, with the chains. But I think this one is gonna be really, really difficult. Last time, they killed me very, very fast, these guys here. Because it's just so difficult to, I don't know, that attack, if we can defend against that one. The one that kind of has a chain jump as a snake on the ground. Looks so cool. Oh, we can actually def defend against that one. Huh, interesting. So if we just hold down the defense button and are very careful about when we use our attacks, we might be... This is not a good situation, though. This is not a good situation. Okay, there we go. We have to get on... Uh, so we have all the opponents on the same side of our character, otherwise it, get, it gets really, really tricky. Which is where the ability, the new ability that we unlocked here, is not that great really. It might be good against bosses or against some enemies, but it has us thrown to one of the sides, which means that we can get sort of in the middle of all of this trouble here, which is, uh, which is really not beneficial. How do we take out that guy though? Oh, he's getting real close now. Okay, let's... Yeah, we got a few good hits in on him. Nice! I think he's low, he's below 50% HP at this point. I have not I've not won this level here before, so this is gonna be really interesting. Guys, come on, yes. Probably around what 15% HP? Woo! This is intense, guys. Come on. Yeah. Oh, whoa, we're so close now. We have to be really careful. I'll be so angry if we lose this one, guys. Come on. Meanwhile, by the way, head down to the comment section and let me know what you think about this game. I really hope you'll enjoy it. I've left the download links, as I always do, by the way, in the description box, as always. So definitely go check it out if you're interested. Come on. Yes, we got <laughs> Yes. KO, guys. KO. Yes, that's so great. This is a great feeling, guys. And we got one of the premium currencies, or one of the currency here. So that means even though we had to spend one to kill this guy, survive this level here, at least we also got one. And as you guys can see, we continued, so we got 5,000 less in score. And that's where the replayability comes in, because you definitely want to go back and and play some of these levels over and over again as you unlock new abilities to test out versus uh, specific bosses that you knew were really, really difficult uh, the first time around to see if they're easier now. So guys, this game gets my biggest recommendation ever. This is a fantastic game, I'm really loving it. The monetization is spot on, even with the in-app purchases added. I still think that this is a very, very fair game. As you guys can see in here, by the way, we can actually, if we go into bonus, there's so many ways that we can get the premium currency and new characters, by the way, some of the characters have to be unlocked, but they only cost 10 of this currency here. So that's the same as just like performing 100 hit combo. If we do that, we get 10 of this currency. Really awesome monetization, really great game. Every 
everything I've wanted from a 2D fighting game, and it's finally here. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you liked this video. And guys, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing because I cover a new mobile game every single day from Monday till Friday. And until next time, you know the drill. Just keep gaming, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys around.